two Catholic universities await an important Supreme Court ruling. Jason Calvi visits one of these campuses right here in D.C. Next March, the Catholic University of America will head to the Supreme Court to fight the contraceptive mandate. It makes hypocrites of us to be teaching, on the one hand, that, uh, that contraception and abortion and sterilization are things that the church frowns on, and on the other hand, to be paying for these services or be part of a system that provides these services. CUA President John Garvey has argued cases at the Supreme Court and even wrote a book on the First Amendment. He says the government is forcing his institution to violate its faith or face fines. The government could just withdraw the fines from our bank account and they would be essentially crippling you know, tens of millions of dollars for us. Right across the street from CUA is another group, the one that's really become the symbol of the fight against the HHS mandate, the Little Sisters of the Poor. Also with Little Sisters of the Poor, they know what they're getting into. They know the Catholic teachings and their standings on this. And honestly, if they don't like it, there are other jobs out there that do provide these contraceptions. The Obama administration says religious nonprofits don't have to contract, arrange, pay, or refer for contraceptive coverage, but can opt out by filing this form. The government says the insurance company or third party will then provide it. It's really a lot more than that. If you look at the context of the entire statute, we're required to provide an insurance program and to engage an insurance carrier who will provide contraceptives and, <clears throat> and early stage abortions and sterilizations out of, the, out of the premiums that we pay. The Supreme Court decision is expected in June. In Washington, Jason Calvi, EWTN News Nightly.